Hey guys, it's Anjali G. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we'll be reviewing the BLK Cosmetics All Day Matte Liquid Foundation. If you don't know, BLK Cosmetics is actually a line from Anne Curtis. She's a very famous actress here in the Philippines. And yeah, this is what the foundation looks like. So it looks like this. And my shade is in sand. So today, we will be reviewing if this is something that I would recommend. Is it some thing that you should buy everything you will have to know until the end of the video I tested the foundation for two days on the first day without a primer and then on the second day with the primer so I am um, I'm in the shade sand so it has SPF 35 so it says here and then so this is what it looks like it is um, housed in a glass bottle with a frosted cap and there's a pump. Okay. So it doesn't feel liquidy, it looks kinda of moussey. And it has a bit of a thick consistency. Yeah. So I'm gonna So this is what the foundation looks like after freshly applied. So I just used one pump canina and then it was able to cover some of my imperfections. Although not a lot, but I think so far it did cover my marks here it's good because it um, covered some of my pores here and then it also covered some of my imperfections but I I still think that this one has medium coverage so yeah so, again, this is what it looks like after you're done with all your makeup so far it did not settle on some of my lines but I just feel like it's a thick matte formula but we will check later um after four hours and eight hours see how it performs with the heat with my natural oil and all that Hi, p.m. Hi guys, so I'm gonna ask my friend about her feedback on my foundation. Hi Ray, say hi. Hi! So what do you think about my foundation though? Is it nice? I think you've had better foundations before. Okay. You've used better ones, yeah. La no, it, because it, it looks like parang muragwa siya ni sink sa kung skin. It's like it's lifted. It's like it's sitting on top ra sa kung skin. No? Yeah, it doesn't feel. Really look natural. Like. <coughs> no? Yes, it doesn't look natural. Or it's, it's, it's like you're, you're. Putting a mask on? You you have parts where oily. Uh -huh. and some parts are not. Okay, so. so it's like you're, yeah, it doesn't look natural. Okay, so I have a friend and she doesn't want to be videoed. But do all or but do What do you think about my foundation, Dai? Your face is very shiny. Uh, but it no? Uh uh. Mas na ako yung foundation sa nice. Yes, dili shiny. Grabe dito shiny. Lagi niya po tiki ako no. Yo. Tiki mo siya ganon. 
Which one is better? My makeup yesterday or Karen? Yesterday. Or any worse, yeah, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> na ano no, primer mas ni worse man runoin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna take it off. Um, I'm really sorry, guys. I wanted this one to be like an eight hour review, but I mean, you wanna take this off. It's just mm, bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> So now let's proceed to my review. Okay, um, first I'll just again would like to go through that it's in a glass bottle and it has a pump. Um, my only concern is that it really it gets really hard to get the foundation out because I feel like the pump is too stiff. So it's really hard to get the foundation out. Like I'm really pressing hard here. And maybe because I feel that the formula is thick, so maybe that could be the reason why. Um, also, it retails for 499 pesos at Watson. So I think um, it's a bit up there in price compared to some of our local brands. I feel like it's a bit on the average price range. So, ayan. Um, Let's proceed now to the pros. My first pro, if you're looking for a matte foundation that will um, stand for a good four to five hours, then I think you have a good foundation right here. I feel like it really is a true matte, especially when it's freshly applied. So f matte foundation, yes. But I think that if you already have if you already have the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte Plus Poreless Foundation, I think both do exactly the same. Second pro is the SPF level. I feel like this has SPF 35. So if you're looking for a foundation, if you want to wear it at the beach, I think this is a good foundation because it has medium coverage. You can actually build it up to full. Naman. It's, it's good. Um, I think the SPF level is really good, especially if you're gonna wear it at the beach. This is a good foundation to have. A matte formula and then with good SPF level, I think this is really good. Alright, so let's proceed with the cons. My first con is the flashback. Uh, if you, I'm gonna insert a picture and you're gonna see that there is really a noticeable flashback if you're gonna use this foundation. It's because of its SPF level, which is SPF 35. If you're going through um, some photo shoot, this is not the foundation to buy because it really gives you that ghost face. Second con is the shade selection. BLK only released three shades of this foundation. I'm just gonna put all the shades and they, they only released three shades, which I think is a bummer because there are a lot of people with different skin tone. BLK wasn't able to cater to all of those skin tones. I mean, I'm in the shade sand and this is what I'm wearing right now. It feels like it's just too light for me. Yeah. My third con is the oil control. Um, after the fifth to sixth hour, I feel like I look too oily and too greasy. Um, it's actually shown on a video where my friends find my um, face too oily um, compared to my normal foundation days. My fourth con is the formula. I'm not really a fan of the formula, although it's a true, it has a true matte finish. On the fourth to fifth hour, I just can feel that it's just sitting on top of my skin. While I do agree that it is comfortable on the skin, I felt like it doesn't look natural on me. It's not natural looking at all. It's just sitting on top of my skin. It did not blend well with my skin, especially when the natural oil started to come out. It just kind of felt like, I don't know, I have a mask on. So, all right, so I'm gonna give my overall score um, on this foundation. So I have two pros and then four cons. And then my score would be uh, five being the highest and then one being the lowest. I'm then gonna give this one a two over five. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anne Curtis, but only because it reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. This one also has a true 
pa matte powdery finish and then after three to four hours it started to slip and slide and it's starting to make me look oily this one looks natural and although it it's very nice because it, it blends well with my skin this one just sits on top of my skin like it it doesn't it's not nice to look at like right now I'm wearing it it looks nice in the camera but you know after four to five hours it will just slip and slide and then you'll start to look oily and this one does just that uh, same and talaga sila. Really asking feedback for my friends to see if you know maybe I'm just too biased or too picky with my foundations but they kind of confirm that yeah it doesn't look good on you blah 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 and yeah. that's it for my review guys please let me know if you've tried this foundation let me know what's your feedback on it make sure to comment down below and yeah thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye